Hi everyone! So today's video is gonna be my December and January's favorite. It's one of the most requested video that I've um, been uh, receiving, and uh, I've decided to do it now because I find that I find that last month I didn't really have anything new. Um, so I waited after the winter break um, to gather everything that I got um, to show you guys. So um, let's start. So as you guys know, if you follow me on uh, Facebook, I, uh, I've been raving about these since I got them and how I love them. And it's of course the SC Lux Effect Nail Polish. And I have two of them that are my absolute favorite. The first one is Set in Stone. It's the silver one here. And the other one is a nice rose gold pinky color that is called a cut above I love these um, alone and over any nail polish um, I find that they are so extremely shiny whenever I have these on my nails I have so many compliments people stop me and um, you know they want to see what's on my nails and all that on that stuff um, so these two I find that they're amazing um, I think I tried it once to wear it alone without um, putting layering it on um, a nail polish and I only used two coats and it covered my nail completely of glitter so it's great to have if you love na uh, glitter nail polish um, I've seen them online at Walmart or at Farmer Pre Farmer Pre is a Canadian drugstore so you can always go and check them out and they're um, still available so go uh, snatch them now if you uh, love them because I think they're um, like a limited edition um, nail polish um, so if you know me I love my reds and I'm always um, looking um, to find the perfect deep red and I think I found it and it's the SC again uh, red nail polish and it's called size matters and um, my lighting doesn't really show but it's when it when you have it on your nail it's a really nice dark red uh, it's like a almost like an almost like a brownish red brownish red doesn't sound very attractive but um, you have to see it and you have to try it on your nails because it's amazing and I even tried it, um, to layer it with um, this red nail polish that I got it's a mini um, OPI nail polish I think it's from the Katy Perry collection I'm not sure it, they don't have the name here so I can't tell you but it's there it's the red um, shimmery color that that is from the Katy Perry collection and I actually have it on my nails these two nail polish and I absolutely love them it's very nice and um, vibrant it's like a nice deep red that is still you know it doesn't look um, you know old uh, it looks very young and fresh so I love how these two goes so well together my two next product again are still nail polish so hang in there it's not all nail polish it's I'm just in a nail polish mood this month so um, it's all that I've been buying and all that stuff so hang in there with me but you know all of them I love so much so I have to rave about them so the next nail polish uh, I think it's been out a while in the States but it's been so so hard for me to find it in Canada and it's the Revlon Whimsical uh, nail polish that is actually like a dupe of um, a Deborah Libman um, the Brett Lemon uh, nail polish, sorry, and um, it's basically like a light blue with uh, nice pink and blue glitter inside. Um, I really, really love this color. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed how sheer it is. We will definitely have to layer at least three coats to have like a nice um, opaque um, color on your nails. If not, you might want to layer on a, like a baby blue nail polish but you know I would prefer to be a little bit more opaque but you know 
for the price you know I can't complain and it's so nice I even bought a, another backup just in case I'm, I run out of uh, the nail polish because it's been so hard I think the um, first day that I heard that it was at Walmart I went I bought two and one of my girlfriends bought the other two the last two and um, that's pretty much it that they have so if you can find you know grab this try to tr smash it right away because the next time you go, you might not be there, so... So yeah. Um, the last nail polish that I'm going to talk is the nail polish from Chanel. And it's called Perido. It's this nice... Um, kind of like this green, blue, gold um, nail polish. I love this so much that I'm almost afraid to use it because whenever I have it on my nails, I find it... Um, it gives my nail that such a nice look. Um, it's like that luxury look that um, that I love. And I, you know, to go out with a black dress, this is like the staple nail polish to have. And I'm totally in love with it. I love how opaque it is and how long, long lasting. I find that like most of the nail polish, I never have problems chipping, and neither this one. But I heard a lot of people saying that it's not that long lasting for them. But you know, for me, I find that it's very nice and long lasting. And the color is so unique. I never have anything that looked like it. So um, this goes into my favorite for sure. Next, it's lips. Next is my Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. This is my go-to lipstick since I got it. It's um, a lipstick that is so easy to wear. Um, you can wear it day or night, and it's you know um, it's like a, a lipstick that would fit any type of eye look. And I find that it's you know not too overwhelming. You know, for those that doesn't really like you know to put a lot of makeup, you or you're you know you're kind of new to makeup. This is a lipstick that you want to start with because it's easy and um, it's not too you know loud so this is one of my favorite the next um, would be my baby lips from Maybelline in pink punch and it's this nice uh, lip balm tinted lip balm it's a it's like this nice hot pink but when you have it on your your lips it's not doesn't look exactly like this but it's has that nice uh, fresh color on your lips um, that I love I love it so much that I even bought some uh, a couple of them to give out for my friends that I know that would love these and they're so inexpensive they're so moisturizing and I love how that how that little flush of colors um, brighten you know your your look up so this is you know a must-have in my bag and I know already that this little lip balm is gonna be everywhere with me um, this summer because you know this hot pink you can't go wrong with it with a nice tan um, it's perfect um, next would be eyes my favorite favorite um, mascara right now would be the L'Oreal voluminous million lash um, that is the waterproof one I'm surprised that I like waterproof mascara because usually I do not care for them I find that it's so hard to, to take it off and you know but you know with this cold weather and with the snow and what and all the water um, I prefer to use um, waterproof uh, mascara just because I don't want it to have like you know everything leaking and smudging so this I swear it will not move um, and I even wear it all day all night for a good 24 hours and it stays my mascara didn't move at all and didn't smudge around so this is a must the only thing that I don't like it's like a little tiny bit harder to take it off but like with any waterproof mascara you'll have that problem um, still looking for a good um, eye makeup remover so if you have any suggestion please let me know but I bought two of them already and I'm trying to uh, work with them and see what works best but for now, I really, really love this and it's worth it for me to, uh, you know, take a little bit more time to take it off. 
if I'm not using this mascara, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. And it's this little sample size that I got. Usually, I do not care for these little sample size. It's something that I usually would toss away or... But this was laying around and I tried it out. And I swear it is amazing. I have it on today and it's so nice. It lengthens your skin. It separates your skin. Your skin. Your lashes. Um, yet, it doesn't smudge. Um, it doesn't like... You know, you know when you have like that little black trace at the end of the day, you will not have that problem. And it's extremely easy to take it off with a little bit of water and soap. So this is a must if you uh, want to spend a little bit more money. But if not, the L'Oreal is perfect. Next would be my a um, black eyeliner. And it's from Jordana. And it's their co color extend blackout. No, eyeliner in blackout. Sorry. And it's this. I didn't sharpen it. Sorry. I use it so much that I forgot to sharpen it. But this is extremely um, pigmented, smooth, and um, it's so easy to like smudge. And if you want to have like a, if you want to use it like as a as a base for your um, smoky eye this is perfect uh, I love how it's like easy to use and so creamy I never have anything like this um, I heard some good things about um, another brand but uh, I've I have yet to use it but because I love this so much I actually received this with uh, from a swap and I don't remember who but I'm so glad that I received this uh, as a gift because I don't think we can get these uh, in Canada. But it, in the States, if you can get your hands on this and you like um, smoky eyes or you use a lot of black liner, you should try this out because it's amazing. Um, next, eyeshadows. Eyeshadows, I, um, I think my favorite colors during the holidays would be definitely um, this MAC eyeshadow that is called glamour check and it's this nice brown reddish brown um, I've been using this um, all over my lid smudge it out a little bit at the lash line I did pretty much any look with this single eyeshadow um, and it looks fantastic it's such a nice warm color for the winter if I want to have like a little bit of color I would use this uh, MAC eyeshadow, mineralized eyeshadow in engaging <clears throat> and I would usually put this like a little bit in the crease to blend it out and um, the nice champagne color here just the inner corner to brighten it up and I swear <clears throat> this is perfect together um, I'm gonna actually do a makeup tutorial using these two products so you guys can see how um, I do I usually do my uh, daily looks and um, to go with this theme this color I have discovered this color tattoo from Maybelline there are 24 hours and I have found the perfect perfect base for it and it's called pomegranate punk and it's this nice warm uh, reddish brown that is amazing I've used this yesterday and I love it. I love it so much. And it's the exact color as um, my Glamour Check. So if you can have this, because I think it's like a limited edition um, eyeshadow, you know, try this because it's the exact same color and you can layer it on. It's extremely creamy and I use it as a base, but I'm sure you can use it alone as an eyeshadow. And, it would look fantastic for um, winter and fall. Um, so that's pretty much for eyes. Okay, my last two uh, items would be cheeks. And I always have this, uh, a lot of comments on, you know, what kind of blush are you wearing? You know, you have this nice glow. And I've been using only these two blushes. And, one, and they're both from MAC. The first one is Peachy Keen. Peachy Keen is actually 
my first blush that I bought from MAC and I still have and I still have it it's amazing it's like a, this nice warm um, coral color um, that I love and if you like a similar um, kind of color but a little bit more pinkish I would go um, with uh, Fleur Power and it's again from MAC so I'm gonna show you both how they look like so one is more pinkish and the other one is more coral so these two blushes is my go-to colors to give an instant um, brightening, brightening effect and um, to your look and it's you know it creates a nice glow natural glow and they're extremely pigmented both of them that's why I still have them they're like my two first MAC blush and I'm uh, I'm very happy that I have them because I'm using it now and I find that it's perfect for winter when you have a you know when you're all white and and you know you don't have that tan you know it's it's amazing so go try them out because you might be surprised and you'll you'll maybe love it as much as me so uh, that's pretty much it for my December and January's favorite um, if you have uh, a video about your favorite, just um, link it below so I can watch it. I love watching these kind of videos because I'm always on a hunt of, you know, new products, new uh, stuff to try. So yeah, so um, so I'm going to see you guys very, very soon with uh, more tutorials, hopefully, and more new videos that I, you know ideas that I have been thinking uh, for a while now that I I'm gonna share you um, my ideas in a vlog not here but yeah so stay tuned for new videos and yeah so have a good weekend guys bye